It's night one in Sussex, where dinner party veteran Rod is the first of this week's hosts to try to win a grand in this glorious gaff. Everybody seems really lovely. It's my night tonight, first night. Bring it on. Whilst Rod gets slicing for his starter... I'm going to trim that down so I can get it in the toaster without setting the house on fire. Sarah and Hassan are checking out his table. This looks great. Look at this. Go. Very, very pretty. I love it. Slightly wedding-y. Yeah, it is. It's uh, like a celebration. Yeah, or maybe we'll all get married to each <laughs> other by the end of the week. Slow down, Sarah. I love a posh napkin, especially with a ring round it. Oh. Back in the kitchen, Rod's got into a sticky situation with his balsamic reduction. Well, I made it earlier, I let it cool down. Suddenly it's very hard, so I'm going to put it back on the stove very, very quickly, see if I can salvage it. Looks more like treacle. It's starting to melt now. Oh, there we go. That's it. Crisis averted. He plates up the pâté along with his rescued reduction, and that's it. Ready to go. First course. Rod's starter is chicken liver pâté with a mushroom and tarragon version for the vegans. So welcome, everyone, um, and welcome to our first course. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow, this looks amazing. I'll tell you what, judged against restaurant standard, I would say this is the second best pâté I have ever eaten in my life. Wow. High praise indeed. It smelt delicious, it was cooked really well and it was a big portion. Absolutely top notch. So, Sarah, what, did you, what do you feel about my uh, mushroom pâté? It's really nice not to feel like an afterthought at mm. a dinner party. Quite often you just like... It's almost like a kid in the corner with a bag of crisps, you know, <laughs> you just kind of get shoved out. A lot of people would just bang out the beans and the toast. <laughs> would I want to eat it again? No, but I did quite enjoy it. Hopefully he's got away with that balsamic reduction as well. It's got like a... It's given it like a really sharp tang. I couldn't actually get it off my plate. Maybe he hasn't. It was a bit like super glue. With the starter largely going down well, talk turns to the age-old question. What would your drag name be? So, my drag name is Miss Naomi. Um, I... <laughs> I fell over many years ago. The same week that Naomi Campbell fell over on the catwalk. Oh. And so then my friends started to call me Miss Naomi and that was my drag name. Anyone ever called you Hot Rod? <laughs> <laughs> not for a long time. Not for a long time, no. Not... Mine is Lady Verity Lupton. <laughs> <laughs> that is an amazing drag name. Yeah. That's... <laughs> Mine's um, quite clear. It's Kitty Litter. <laughs> Sounds like a mucky drag queen. <laughs> very, very mucky drag queen. Yeah, different sort of club, I think. <laughs> Kitty Litter, my alter ego. So she can be a detective or she can be a lady um, or she can be a doctor. Who knows? There's no stopping Kitty Litter. Would it be really rude if I licked the plate? Your meal. <laughs> That, honestly, oh, is gorgeous. <laughs> Paula licks her plate like my cat Mimi licks her plate. They both love liver. I was slightly overwhelmed when I first met her cos she was so sort of in your face. I think my starter went really well. I think my vegans were happy. They left a little bit behind, but um, there was a lot there. Great start to the week. I just hope I can keep the momentum. With two separate mains to manage, Rod reheats his veggie curry. Smells absolutely delicious. Then it's make or break time for his fancy bit of chicken. Is this going to stay together? Smells amazing. I'm so happy. I've been worried about this all day. I think I'll give everybody two pieces. Everyone seems to like their food. Finally, he adds the potato dauphinoise, veg, and a creamy mushroom sauce. And it's ready. Bellatine of chicken for the meat eaters and chickpea and spinach curry for Sarah and Hassan. I hope you will all enjoy this as much as you enjoyed the first course. So, um, tuck in. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank thank you. you. I have been criticised for my portion sizes, but can I just say it's cultural. West Indian, we don't do small portions. I thought Rod served quite a lot for the main course. I found it quite difficult uh, to get through it. I felt a little bit overwhelmed when I saw it. And you don't want to be rude and not eat it all. Even I couldn't make my way all through it, but that's a good thing. I think it's delicious. I was really looking forward to the Dauphin Wilds potatoes. 
and you didn't disappoint. They're really good. Oh, thank you. Rod, setting a really high standard for this week, um, and I'm really quite intimidated by it. Cheese on the Dauphin Wells potatoes? Yeah, yeah, I did a mix of Comte, mm -hmm. which is my favourite cheese, and um, mozzarella and cheddar. I'm a, I'm a real cheese traditionalist. I don't, one of my sayings is I don't muck with the cheese. It tastes very, very nice. So I will forgive you for mucking with the cheese. He can muck with my cheese as much as he wants. Carefully, though, presumably. How much garlic have you put in these potatoes? <laughs> I love it, but it's going to cause an awful chemical reaction. Well, that's lovely. My guts are doing windmills. Oh, I didn't know you didn't like garlic. Oh, Sorry. I love garlic. Has anyone ever farted on gum dime with me before? Unfortunately, yes. They have? Oh, well, is it a musical one? Because I could probably knock out a musical one. Paula has, has got a lot to say. 